Hello everyone, in this video we are giving this interesting radical problem and we are going to be solving this without using any calculator. So subscribe to my channel and let's get started. We have 100 times 101 but I'm going to write 101 as 100 plus 1 times 102 I'm going to write it as 100 plus 2 then times 103 I'm going to write it as 100 plus 3 then plus 1. Awesome. Then from here we're going to let 100 equal to x so that we can simply solve it using algebra, right? So from here we're going to have x times x plus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 3 plus 1 then we have the square root over there nicely. Then from here, we will multiply this x by x plus 3. So we're going to have x times x plus 3. Then we also multiply the whole of this one by this. So we will have x plus 1, x plus 2. Then don't forget the 1 over there, right? And we have the square root nicely just like that. Now let's distribute this x. We're going to have x squared plus 3x. Then from here, we will multiply the whole of this one by this. So we will have x squared plus 2x. Then we also distribute the 1 over there. So we have x plus 2. Then plus this one. Then always the square root is there waiting for us. So from here, we're going to have x squared plus 3x times... Now we're going to simplify this one. We have 3x plus 2, then plus 1. Great. Now, let's go ahead and then let x squared plus 3x equal to m. So the problem now becomes m times the whole of this one is m. So we're going to have m plus 2, then plus 1. Great. So from here... We can write this as m squared plus 2m plus 1, right? We distributed this m by the bracket. So we're going to have m squared plus m plus 1. This is the same as m plus 1 all squared. If you expand m plus 1 all squared, we're going to have m squared plus 2m plus 1, right? So we have square root of m plus 1 all squared, and this is equal to this squared and the square root to go, so we have m plus 1. But remember that we let m equal to x squared plus 3x. So we're going to have x squared plus 3x plus 1. But x is equal to 100. Remember, we let x equal to 100. So we're going to have 100 squared plus 3 times 100 plus 1. Remember, we are not using any calculator, so we're going to write it as 100 squared is 10,000. Then 3 times 100, that is 300. Then we have plus 1, right? Now let's sum this one. We're going to have... 1, 0, 3, 0, and 1. So we're going to have 10,301 as our final answer. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and see you again on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.